follow me, Mary Magdalene whispered to the women behind her. They picked up their jars of spices and walked softly down the path to Jesus' tomb. It was early on Sunday morning. Hardly anyone else was awake. Wait, whispered the women. How will we get inside the tomb? Who will roll the heavy stone away? I don't know, Mary answered. But let's keep going. We must pour our spices on Jesus' body and show how much we loved him. Mary wiped away a tear. Jesus had died on the cross on Friday, and she missed him already. As they walked, the rising sun peeked through the trees in the garden. Suddenly, one of the women pointed. Look, there's the tomb, she gasped, and the stone has been rolled away. The women raced to the tomb. Mary Magdalene arrived first and peered inside. Jesus is gone, she cried. Someone has taken his body away. At once, Mary took off running. I must tell his disciples the terrible news, she hollered to her friends. Mary's feet pounded on the path. Her heart pounded too. Where was Jesus? Soon, she saw Peter and John. Mary was breathing so hard she could barely talk. They took the Lord out of the tomb, she gasped. We don't know where he is. Peter and John rushed with Mary to the tomb. When they got there, Mary's friends had already left. Peter and John ducked inside the tomb and looked around. Mary just stood outside crying. All she could think of was Jesus. Would she ever see him again? Would she get one more chance to say goodbye? After a little while, Peter and John went home, but Mary stayed behind. With tears in her eyes, she leaned over and looked in the tomb one last time. This time, two angels sat there. Woman, why are you crying? they asked. They took my Lord away, Mary sobbed, and I don't know where they have laid him. Mary stood up and turned around. Then, oops, she almost bumped into someone. Whom are you searching for? asked the man standing before her. Mary blinked in surprise. He must be the gardener, she thought. Sir, she said, sniffling, just tell me where you put him, and I will go get him. Mary, said the man. Mary stopped crying. She knew that voice. Once, the man with that voice had healed her. He had forgiven her of all her sin. Jesus, my teacher, my master, she cried. Mary fell at Jesus' feet and reached out to touch him. She never wanted to let go. You can't hold me yet, said Jesus gently. I must return to my Father in heaven. But go, tell my disciples I'm alive. Mary took off running again, but this time she had good news, the best news in the world. I have seen the Lord, she shouted to the disciples. Now Mary cried tears of joy. Her Lord had risen from the dead, and one day she would join him in heaven to live with him always. Sparkies, here's what you can learn from Mary Magdalene's biography. Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead. Share the good news that Jesus is still alive today. You can read more about Mary Magdalene in your Bible. Look up the New Testament book of John, chapter 20, verses 1 to 18.